and it, and we can suck our coffee out from a bag, but to drink it from a cup is hard to do because you can't tip the cup up and get the liquid out, and it's also easy to slosh. So with the special shape of this cup, the surface tension forces will wick the coffee up along the edge there. And uh, as you can see, as I'm putting some coffee there in the bag, and the way this works is one, the cross-section of this cup looks like an airplane wing. And the sharp angle, uh, the, the, the the narrow angle there will wick the, the coffee up. And this is what we use when we design fuel tanks for rockets to reignite in a weightless environment. The, the veins in the tanks will wick the fluid into the suction port. And if that angle is less than uh, two times 90 minus the contact wetting angle, then the liquid will rise like that. So knowing this for a fuel tank, you can make it into a cup to drink your fluid from. So you could just uh, sip there right on the edge of the cup. And, and as you sip, more fluid just keeps coming up and up and up. And you can enjoy a cup of coffee in a weightless environment without having to sip it from a bag. And you can just keep sipping and sipping and sipping, uh, clear down to the last drop in the cup. And this may very well be what future space colonists end up using when they want to have a celebration and do a toast. They can uh, sip their coffee and their tea from cups like this, like we do down here on Earth, without having to suck them from a bag. Don, we really enjoyed that. That's This is a lot of fun. And you can see I'm continuing to suck the coffee out, or actually sip the coffee, because we're no longer sucking out of a bag now. We're we're drinking from a cup, and the the coffee continues to climb up that acute angle, and, and until the whole bag is drained. And that's uh, the end of the video. I wanted to share that uh, with you, a, a little discovery we made uh, by using a little piece of uh, uh, plastic from one of the FDF books.